Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, man, I thought I'd do another guide slash tips um, for Apex today. Um, you know, last time I covered Watson. That's my boo. I love you. Um, but this time, we're going to be covering Caustic, the gas man himself. Um, seeing what he brings to the table for the team, man. I think Caustic is a very well-balanced character, both offensively and defensively. So we're just going to go ahead and take a look at his powers real quick and see what he can do. All right, beautiful people. So right off the bat, man, you got to know the Caustic is rocking fortified. means 15% less damage. Not going to be slowed by any bullets. Um, something to note is that Caustic did receive some adjustments in Season 5, allowing his gas not to slow your allies. So um, that's going to be pretty useful because gas can be used in a wide variety of situations. Now on to his passive. His passive is going to allow you to see enemies that are caught in your gas. Um, that's very useful because you can flood out a house with a gas grenade and you can go in there and see where every enemy is at if they're caught in the gas. Now, his tactical ability are the gas canisters. You can have up to six out at a time, but Costa can only carry three at a time. After you summon the initial three that you're carrying, you got a recast timer of about 20 seconds. And every time that 20 second goes off, it's going to replenish a gas canister um, basically in your inventory. Now, once you summon more gas canisters than you can carry, then the very first one that you summon is automatically going to be deactivated. Now, the canisters, um, very useful, man. You can use them offensively or defensively. Um, let's say this is a door right here, for example. You put the gas canister right there. Now the enemy can't get in. They they, they got to kick at the door. Um, they kick at the door, the gas is going to end up going off if they get in or whatever. You can use the gas canisters to provide cover if you're trying to revive an ally. So my homie's down. Yo, bro, you all right? Hold on, man. I'm going to get you. Hold on. You know, you can pop that. Kind of flood out the area just a little bit because a lot of people aren't going to go walk straight into the gas. You revive your man. What's up, bro? You good? Okay, no problem. You know what I'm saying? Hit the D-pad to thank him, whatever. Or say you're welcome, whatever. Uh, now, his ultimate ability, the gas grenade, man, you can use this to flood out a house. You can use this to push. So let's say that enemy's back there. He's taking cover. Bang, you toss that right there. So now you got that. So he's already going to be slow by the gas. So you just push in. You see him if he's in the gas. You pop in headshots. You know what I'm saying? So you can use that to push. You can use your gas grenade to revive an ally if you need to. Um, you can use the gas grenade to choke out an enemy area. Um, it's a bunch of different uses for Caustic, man. I think he's he's a very versatile legend. Um, one thing I did forget to mention with the, uh, the canisters as well, though, real quick, is use them as much as you can, man. Choke point area. Enemies got to go through here. They either got to shoot it or they got to trigger it and you're going to know either way because it's going to disappear on the map or it's going to let you know that somebody has triggered one of the traps so costa can be used you know both offensively and defensively um, i'm going to show you guys how i use them in a little bit of gameplay um in both forms basically so let's go ahead and jump over to some gameplay real quick dude let me tell y'all the struggle trying to select costa was so real while I was trying to make this video because it's like it took me like eight matches because every single match I didn't have the first pick I was always the second or third and everybody was picking caustic so I'm gonna go ahead and say that he's a pretty popular character in regular play um, in rank play I still think he's just as popular I think he might be a little bit more viable in rank now now that his gas doesn't uh, slow his allies down and because of that, I think that makes him way more flexible in the way people can play him. So if you want, man, you can sit back, have gas traps surrounding your room. If, and you want to play a sniper rifle, you can. Um, if you want to help your team push another opposing team, you can. Because the thing is, with these gas traps, uh, you can toss them actually pretty far, a decent amount of distance away um, to help your team push. Now, Caustic doesn't have to worry about positioning um, all that much like a Watson would. Um, what I would say when using your gas canisters, um, some useful spots to put them are blocking doors if you're trying to 
um, if your team is playing like a stationary area. So use it to, to block doors from them opening it. Um, I would say to place your gas canisters, you know, kind of like around the corner where you're not going to see it until you walk around the corner. And by that time, you know, it's too late and the gas canister goes off. And, you know, you're going to get the alert, which you can relay that to your team. Now, let's say you and your team are playing a stationary area. You know, the ring is small and, you know, there's not much space. Man, place them gas canisters every damn where. Um, because it's going to be more beneficial for you to just place them all over, cover every entrance, um, everything, than you not placing them at all. Um, my thing is when we're playing one centralized area, um, I put them everywhere so they can, they can all go off, you know. So, you know, maybe they shoot one of your gas canisters and then they decide to run in, boom, they'll run into another one. So it's important to use your gas canisters when you have them um, instead of just sitting on them because at that point, they're just going to waste. So what if you want to push with Watson? I mean, damn. I meant caustic. Man, I can't even stop thinking about my boo, man. Man, Watson, my baby. I'm sorry I ain't play with you today yet. But, so what if you want to push with him? Um, you can. Uh, what I try to do is I try to take a line of sight approach. Um, stay out of the, the, the line of sight of the enemy. Um, and when I can, I try to come up from around the side. I'm a very much a flanking person, so I try not to have people see me. Um, and when I'm in that vicinity... Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can actually toss his gas traps a decent distance. Sometimes if I see that the enemy team is in a house, I may open up the door and hurry up and toss a gas trap in there um, in, in hopes that it'll go off. Or, you know what I'm saying, sometimes I'll toss a gas grenade in there. Um, another great way to push is, you know, if you do see maybe a team, you know, across the way or whatever, Man, toss that grass, that gas grenade on their location. When you toss that gas grenade, that's going to give you a brief moment for you and your team to rush. Because not every team is going to be running with a Bangalore. So uh, those are some ways that I use Watson to, to play offensively and rush the opposing team. Okay, so you got the gist of playing Caustic offensively and defensively. So what about the weapon? Y'all know, if y'all seen my last video, how I feel about the weapons. Use whatever you want to. Um, in this video, I picked up a sniper rifle. Don't know why. I just tried to use it. I hardly ever use sniper rifles. I think I did pretty decent, but, you know, whatever. Um, but use with whatever you're good with, man. Um, I'm, I'm a firm believer. If you're not good with a, a marksman rifle, put that shit down. You know what I mean? Use the assault rifle if that's your thing. Um, you can use whatever weapon works best for you. Um, with caustic, there is no right or wrong weapon with them. There's only right or wrong with what you're good with. Um, so that's pretty much it for the weapons. But that's about it when it comes to caustic, man. I don't think there's a whole lot to his kit. Um, sometimes I just think a lot of players lack uh, ingenuity when playing him. Um, and sometimes they just don't do a lot of things that help the team. Um, you know, some of those things, like I said, that you could do is when you and your team are on the move, man, make sure you're just placing gas traps out behind you, um, especially like when you're going through passes so you know that an enemy may be following y'all same path because I've had it to where teams come up from behind us, and we probably could have avoided that had we known, had our caustic, you know, set a gas trap and he knew when that triggered, you know what I mean? So, things like that. Remember, you can use your gas traps to revive people. Um, you know, you can use them, you can toss out the trap, shoot it for cover while you're reviving somebody. Same thing with your grenade. Um, toss out your grenade um, just in case you need to cover. Um, use your grenade to cover ground, um, to close on an enemy team. There's a lot of ways that you can really use Caustic. He's a very flexible character, so I want y'all to keep those type of things in mind. Um, but that's really about it. I'm going to let the rest of this video go ahead and play out um, so y'all can see how this match ends. I'm going to give y'all something pleasant for y'all ears because, you know, what's an Apex video without a dope beat? So um, that's about it for me, man. Hope you guys enjoyed this guide. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, 
and I'll catch you guys next time.